Welcome to the February issue of The Pathologist. I'm editor Michael Schubert, and it's a great pleasure to bring you this month's issue. The editorial this month addresses the decline in readability of scientific papers and why it's important to make sure your research is accessible. Our case of the month is a classic one. Can you diagnose the cause of adrenal failure from this illustrated plate? In Upfronts this month, we have more accurate HIV diagnosis, a blood test for melanoma recurrence, and a contact lens that monitors glucose concentration in tears. In My View letters include the value of metabolomics for glaucoma care, the merits of droplet digital PCR-based liquid biopsy, and a patient's eye view of the cancer diagnostic process. On the cover, we feature part two of our discussion on computational pathology, its practical applications, its value in the clinic, how it's currently being used, and even some cautionary viewpoints. In Practice looks at the growing significance of molecular testing and how new technologies and new collaborations can ease the transition. In NextGen, we explore minion sketching, a new technique for rapid DNA re-identification that makes cell line authentication, disease diagnosis, and forensic investigations easier and better. Our profession contributors emphasize the vital role of pathologists as guardians of population health and share stories from a unique group established for the purpose of sharing and discussing interesting cases on traditional glass slides. And last, but not least, we sit down with Elizabeth Montgomery, Professor of Pathology, Oncology, and Orthopedic Surgery at Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. This month's issue was fascinating for us, and we hope you feel the same.